Hey. Or what, huh? Uh, uh, style, 
uh, by composition, I, I began to notice that, uh, that there, this was not a, a show where every piece was completely different than the next. There are themes that are, that are emerging here. There's subject matter that's being used. Uh, part of that is due to the natural environment. Part of that is due to the history of art, what, what people have painted in the past. So I, I began to look at that and uh, imagine uh, that there was a story being told by all this work. That, that when, you, when you have a bunch of work, which starts to be sort of thematic in a way, I began to look for a thread, some sort of a storyline to tie the whole thing together. Initially, I called it a narrative. Um, a little more highbrow word for a storyline, but uh, in the end I made it a storyline, and you can read my story uh, up front by the door, and I wrote a little story to talk about how, how I saw the work coming tied together. The, uh, the fellow in the story is me, of course, um, and the word that I chose for my own name, uh, can anybody see the sign over there? What is the word that I chose for my name? Uh, uh, and, it had four letters and it meant potato of some kind, so it's okay. All right, so uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, and, and maybe you wanna kind of do this with me, is we're gonna we're gonna rotate around, and, and I don't think you can all follow me in a line, but as I talk, you might just where you are now. Let's just spiral around a little bit as we go. Don't try to make a line. Just kind of let's just kind of everybody everybody can kind of just spiral around as we're going. Maybe that will work. I'm gonna start up here in the garden. Um, the first, the first thing that we see are some some gourds here. There were smaller uh, portions of the natural environment, individual flowers, individual animals. I, I, I felt like I wanted to create a use of an entrance into the show. So we had this uh, this structure built. Uh, Freddie helped helped us build this. Uh, we arranged these pillars here to create kind of a garden esque environment. So the, 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 I wanted to give people a, a, a way to, to know how to see the show, how to view it. What was, you know, so that when I'm not here, there, and, and I'm not leading a tour, there will be a natural flow that they will enter into the full blown landscape that goes from sky to mountains to sea to urban environment, and even beyond the picture plane to something which is coming up in front, something ceremonial or religious. So I just began to broaden the story from just the individual stories, the individual. Um, sky and, and, and water and flowers and individual animals to a more complete I had in my mind does this have something to contribute to the story which is developing in my mind as I'm seeing this work. I'm being told a story by you. My job is to figure out what it is. And of course they simplified it when I wrote up out of a piece about society of artists and, and their members. So if, if, it, if I felt that it was saying something to me, it didn't want to But you know, by and large, a, a very large percentage of pieces had something to say. You know, uh, as a responsible juror, you know, I also try to use uh, quality of, of, of execution and, and uh, a, a composition that I can understand. But, um, you know, I kind of made those second shrift a little bit to, is this artist, does this artist have something to say to me? Which is really the more, to me, was the more important. Because I know we have artists of all different skill levels, all different, some have been uh, an artist for only a very short period of time, others have been an artist for a long time, or are more well established. I didn't want to use that as a criteria. I wanted to use today, I'm the more of the friends that I've made here. And that's my story. Great all week, and, and he's such a hands-on man. All the way from the sky to the, the foreground, but also this award happens to come with a fifty-dollar gift certificate from uh, Art Framer's Partners, and I thought maybe you might want to start framing one of your artwork to date. But I certainly applaud it, and I encourage uh, to continue the exploration. This is Hawaii Story by Devin Town. Oh. A very colorful piece. Yeah. On the main line, okay. All right. Um, I don't know what this award is. The envelope is, but what is it? Oh, there. Oh, there it is. It's the largest thing on the sheet here that I couldn't find. It's the Yardley Award. Um, I, I will, I, have, I can I tell you, and I would be And they have a budget to purchase art 
And so what they do is they give a recognition award, and because it's the state, it's government, they must take the piece and present it to a committee before it's finalized as a purchase. They, uh, we, they, everybody crosses their fingers and hopes it all goes through, but the committee of eight people came this morning, looked at every single piece carefully, and gave four awards. The first one is for Robert Hamby. Is he here? And we have lovely ladies here to present a day. Robert, this is for your piece. Chico? Chico? Is that how you? And his watercolor is back in the corner, and you will um, can see it back there. The boat. The boat. The second, second award is uh, this, this person, I think she's, the state has purchased her work before. Sally French for the Defenders. <laughs> this next is another watercolor, and um, I don't know if this artist has been purchased by the state, but this is a great recognition of her work. And it's for Emily Miller, Net Fishers. <laughs> Award, recognition award is uh, to Alfred Gray. <gasps> to, to the artists who have received state foundation awards, please understand that the piece of paper that you have, there's a deadline to fill it out and send it in. So uh, read the instructions because that's important. It's, we're dealing with the state. 